हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर के सी टी एग्जाम सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डूइंग द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आज फ्रॉम मेट्राइस एंड डिटर्मेंट्स सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर ओके एंड क्लोज टू एट मार्क्स कम्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर सिक्स टू एट मार्क्स सो दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन टू 23 it was not asked so okay there is a very high chance that a similar question can be asked in 2024 so i have created videos on other chapters as well most repeated question from vectors 3d integrals definite integrals so you can check that check those videos as well those are very the there is a very high chance that those questions can come in the uh, kct 2024 so let's start today's video so first we will be doing a quick concept recap and then we'll solve the questions okay, okay. The, there are few properties related to determinants that are very important okay let's understand them one by one determinant of ab if you, if you have determinant of ab that is equal to determinant of a times determinant of b okay this is one property very simple property next you have determinant of ka determinant of k a where k is some number is equal to when we take k outside it will become k power n determinant of a this is a very important property okay where here n is nothing but the order of the matrix n is order of matrix this is a important one next coming to determinant of adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a raised to n minus 1 similarly n is the order of the matrix last one determinant of a is equal to determinant of a transpose yeah these are the four properties that we will be using okay please make a note of these properties okay on this property direct questions are asked direct we'll see the, the questions you will be able to solve them in seconds hardly 10 seconds not more than that Let's let's see the first question. If A is any square matrix of order three cross three, so your n is three. What is determinant of three A? We already know k A is equal to k power n into determinant of A. So what will be three A? Simple, right? Three power n determinant of A. What is n? Three. So it will be three three is a nine, nine three is a twenty seven. Twenty seven determinant of A. So the correct answer is option C. if you have done this question previously this will not take this will this question can be solved very quickly okay let me just change the thickness of the pen yes yeah. okay next uh, next moving on yeah again this question directly they have asked it is a 3 cross 3 matrix determinant of k so determinant of k will be equal to k power n determinant of a k power n is nothing but 3 so it is k q determinant of a option d moving on again a similar question so this will be 5 cube determinant of a 125 direct so every year question is asked 2018 moving on in 2019 so they have slightly Understood the question. Carefully read the question. If the value of third order determinant is 16, that means your n is equal to 3 and the determinant of a is 16. Clear? Then the value of the determinant formed by replacing each of its elements by its cofactors. Okay. Tell me one thing. What do you mean by if I have a matrix that is made up of all the cofactors? Okay. We know that a joint of a is nothing but cofactors okay but with a transpose right but with a transpose but they are asking us what is the determinant of only cofactors they are asking us determinant of cofactor matrix right cofactor cofactor matrix okay okay let's apply let's apply transpose on both the sides for this let's apply transpose on both the sides what do we get here we'll get cofactor transpose transpose will cancel now applying determinant on both the sides 
here i'll get determinant of cofactor okay determinant of cofactor determinant of adjoint of transpose we know that determinant of a matrix is equal to determinant of transpose of that so this is equal to determinant of adjoint of a and what is determinant of adjoint of a i'll just uh, make lhs and rhs i'll just interchange them so that it is easier determinant of cofactor is equal to determinant of adjoint of a determinant of adjoint of a the formula is determinant of a n minus 1 in this case determinant of a is 16 16 square is 256 so the answer is option b this was a slightly tricky question okay moving on coming to 2020 again they have given us the n value as 3 determinant of a is 5 they are asking us the determinant of a adjoint of a so we will be applying the this property this can be written as determinant of a determinant of adjoint of a because determinant of ab can be written as determinant of a times determinant of b okay now determinant of a is let it be let's keep it as a we know that determinant of adjoint of a is nothing but determinant of a n minus 1 n is 3 so square this will be determinant of a cube what is determinant of a determinant of a is 5 so 5 cube so the answer is 5 5 is a 25 25 5 is a 125 so the answer is option a moving on yeah this is also a good question again we'll be applying the properties so n value is 3 determinant of a is 5 determinant of b is 3 we are asking us the determinant of 3 ab okay so we'll apply the first property Uh, second property that we studied determinant of k is equal to k power n determinant of a so here in this case it will be 3 power n determinant of a b okay next n is 3 so it will be 3 power 3 this can be written as determinant of a determinant of b 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 determinant of a is 5 determinant of b is 3 this is nothing but 27 times 15 so tell me what is 27 times 15 27 into 15. Okay, this can be written as 27. 10 plus 5, 270. 27 5s a. Can anyone tell me 27 5s a? What is 27 5s a? 5 7s a 35. 5 2s a 10. 13. So it is 135. So it will be 2, 3, 4, 0 5. So the answer is 4, 0 5. I think you are getting the grip. with more practice so this is 2021 moving on 2022 again a similar question is asked so n value is given to you n is 3 this is given to you okay 5 times a joint of a okay this can be written as 5 cube a joint of a and a joint of a is nothing but determinant of a n minus 1 n is 3 so this is 5 cube determinant of a square and this is equal to 5 so your determinant of a square is equal to 5 divided by 5 cube which is nothing but 1 by 5 square which is nothing but 1 by 25 so your determinant of a is the square root plus or minus 1 by 25 which is plus or minus 1 by 5 so the answer is option b so this is how you, you need to solve i hope this is clear yeah this was the last question see there is a every year question was asked so there is a high probability that this question can appear okay so you can practice these kind of questions you can check out my other videos as well uh, it is it would be helpful they are very important question and there is a very high chance of appearing yeah that's all uh, in today's video if this video was helpful to you if you got something new to learn please press the like button so that it reaches more people and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos thank you